come on in, pull up a chair and take a load up because today I'll be taking a first look and paging through the Starfinder Character Operations Manual from Paizo Inc. This promises new races and feats and classes and a whole lot of options for your Starfinder characters. And we will dive right in right after this. Howdy, 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 gang. Yes, I'm Jeff McAleer, back once again as your host here at the Gaming Gang channel. As I mentioned in the open, today I'm going to actually page through the Starfinder Character Operations Manual for, obviously enough, the Starfinder role-playing game. This is from Paizo Inc. It is available now. It does carry an MSRP of $39.99. For the hardcover, you can get the PDF from Paizo Inc for $9.99, which is a slamming deal. So without further ado, let's swing on over to the other camera and start taking a first look at the Character Operations Manual. And here we've got the Starfinder Character Operations Manual from Paizo Inc. Do you wanna mention the fine folks over at Paizo did send along this review copy for me. Of course, this is not a review. This is a first look page through because this just came in the mail today. I got this about an hour ago and uh, I wanted to run down here into the duct tape studios and start taking a look and share it with you. I've mentioned in the past, I really like the Starfinder role-playing game. I think Paizo did a really, really nice job. So uh, a little bit of the text on the back, I'm not gonna read all of it, but. The Starfinder Galaxy is an expansive and diverse collection of eclectic planets, strange creatures, myriad cultures, and ancient traditional characters can draw from far more backgrounds, heritages, and training regimens than can possibly be contained in just one core book. The Starfinder Character Operations Manual expands the universe of what a is possible for characters of any class or race, providing new choices at every stage of character creation and advancement. Whether you're a veteran or new to the game, there's something here for you. And then it talks about what's in the book, but we're gonna look at what's in the book anyway by cracking this baby on open. Of course, it's hardcover. Uh, so far I can tell you right now, very, uh, very nicely put together. The uh, end paper, nice card uh, paper stock there. So let's jump on in. I'm just gonna do a page here, kind of talk about what we see and uh, take it from there. So I know we've got uh, some new, there's still, they still call them races in Starfinder, but uh, it's uh, heritages in Pathfinder. So we do have some new races. We've got some new classes, new feats, new equipment, new spells, and so forth. We got some other rules too. So it's giving us a breakdown on the, chapters of the operations manual here what we can expect to find so theme and race classes feats equipment spells and other rules one of the aspects i like about both starfinder and of course second edition pathfinder is the ability to really custom tailor your characters to the sort of sort of character that you want to play with uh and i can say that in my opinion, I think you've got far more options as far as customization in Starfinder and Pathfinder than you do, say, in 5e-based games. Not that I'm knocking 5th edition D&D whatsoever. I'm just saying you tend to have a lot more options at your disposal with Starfinder as well as 2nd edition Pathfinder. So I'm going to kind of flip through. So we've got uh, an athlete. So these are kind of like new backgrounds, right? New themes. So we got the grifter, we've got the guard, law officer, noble scion, sensate, street rat. Nice artwork, like the artwork so far through the book too. We've got androids. So these are, uh, we've got humans. I'm gonna say these are some of the, the races here. Kasathas, 
Looks like we've got uh, kind of like four armed humanoids. It's kind of cool looking. Not even going to try to pronounce some of these because I'm going to be way, way off. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Sheerans? Okay, that's pretty easy to pronounce, I guess. The Vesk. Nice. Of course, we got the dwarves, we got the elves, gnomes, and half elves. One aspect of Starfinder I really appreciated was the fact that it's not just simply Pathfinder first edition ported into space. I one of the aspects that uh, I really, really liked, and I did review both the core book as well as the starter set for Starfinder, I like the fact that there's a lot of new stuff. And uh, it's not just simply the old Pathfinder rules either. There were a lot of changes to the rules as well. So we've got some new classes here. We've got the Biohacker, the Witch Warper, and the Vanguard. So here we've got the Biohacker. We've got the various different, I guess these are biohacks, huh? So the different abilities, fields of study, different theorems. So we've got uh, just different builds for the biohacker. Then we get the vanguard. I would take a guess. Vanguard is probably uh, a weapons master, is my guess. So we've got some cascade energy, inversion, reaction, disciplines. They might be kind of a tank. What kind of a tank character? And then we got different builds. So we've got Gladiator, Mercenary, Law Officer, and Guard. Then we got the Witch Warper. So they are a spellcaster, it looks like. So I'll take a guess we'll probably have some Witch Warper spells. So I know we've got some new spells in the book. So we have uh, the Noble Zion, Xenoseeker, Outlaw, and Mercenary as some example builds here then we get the envoy mechanics so these are kind of uh alternate class uh features here because these these classes like the mystic these are from the core book but these are new options that are available for these core classes the operative Solarian. Lots and lots in here, I'll tell you that much. So we've got the Soldier, the Technomancer, which is actually a very cool class. And talking about the archetypes. So Android Abolitionist. That's pretty wild. Battleflower. Esoterixist. Espionage Specialist, Fixer, Free Trader. As I mentioned, there's lots and lots of customization options with Starfinder. It's one of the things that I really think is very, very cool. Powered Armor Jackie. Oh, yeah. Now we've got some new feats that are available. Looks like we've got a good number of them, too. So we've got things like Accelerated Recovery, Ambush Awareness, Dire Straits, Eldritch Lore, Grenade Mastery. We've got a lot of these. Instant Crater. That's pretty wild. Shield Proficiency, Tailored Serum, Three Point Stance. Now we've got some new equipment included in the book as well. We've got uh, melee weapons, so basic and advanced. Got some long arms, small arms, shields. Huh. 
but not not a ton of new equipment. I would have liked to have seen some uh, some images, some more images here. It's like we've got uh, serums and some medicinals and poisons. We got some new spells. Here we go. So got some mystic spells, technomancer spells, witch warper spell lists. So we got the spell descriptions here. Hateful Visage, <laughs> Churn Fluid, Dazzling Flares, Displaced Memory, Haunted Armor, that's pretty funny, Haunted Combatant, Inflict Blood, I'm sorry, Infect Blood, what am I thinking, Inflict Blood, I can't even read now, huh, so I'm wearing glasses for the first time in a long time, give my uh, eyes rest for my contacts, and it's like, Having to getting used to these glasses again. I haven't worn them in a long, long time. So share memory, reality leap, quantum leap. What? Unspeakable presences. <laughs> Visual and junk bot. All right, so we get into some other rules. So new starship roles. So we got the chief mate, magic officer. We had open crew actions and minor crew actions. Talking about downtime. There you go. What you can be doing during downtime between adventures or between chapters sometimes in an adventure path. Got quite a bit there. And then we get into the index. And you got an advertisement for the beginner box as well as second edition Pathfinder. So all in all, have a hundred and well, 160 pages if we count the ad. And that is what we find when we page through the Starfinder Character Operations Manual. So let me swing back over to the other camera and wrap up. There you have a first look at the Starfinder Character Operations Manual from Paizo, Inc. Of course, I will have a review of the book in the very near future. That's it for this time out. Don't forget, catch me live right here on YouTube, Monday through Friday nights at 7 p.m. Central, as I bring you the Daily Dope and the latest tabletop gaming news of the day. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget, give it a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you do. Ring that little bell because not only will it notify you when standalone videos such as this are uploaded, it'll also tell you within about a minute or so when the Daily Dope goes live. And of course, when you're not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all the latest in gaming news, reviews, comics, movies, TV. You know the drill. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. And of course, until next time, Happy trails! Oh, you're still here. Well, if that's the case, by all means, subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel by clicking right here. And of course, if you want to catch up on past episodes of The Daily Dope, check out this playlist. And if you'd like to see what YouTube's Recommending you take a peek at from the channel, just give a click right over here. Of course, I'm Jeff McAleer, and once again, thank you very much for watching.